Alright, I set down the links. Uh, we're good to start. There's way more to this game than I thought. Wait, hold on. Uh... Taylor the brain try it tired of name change request. Interview a stray comment about how people ask Taylor to change their name to Brian on a regular basis. It was just my phone screen messing that up. Alright. To work. I think. Do we have the thing that we need? I believe we do. Ah, yeah, we do. To work. To work we go. Hey, Jill, let's have a New Year's party this Saturday. Why? Did someone famous get killed? <laughs> Never mind. Sure, I'm in for it. And Gil? He's coming too, I mean, it's not like he has anything else to do. No, I mean, where is he? He was escorting a client of his to the station. He should be back any second now. Back. See? So you coming to the New Year's party too, Gil? It's not like I have anything else to do. Told you. We're depressing people. Oh yeah, the kid from the other day, Gabby. I think you called her, asked me to give you this. I believe it's a note. Still hurt by my sister's death. It wasn't fair to take out all my stress on you. Put the blame on you. Because we're to ask you this after I treated you. I want to catch up and chat for a while. To do what you were doing with me before I lashed out. I want to understand this freedom you talked about. The fear that drove you to f fight with my sister. 31st. Won't take much of your time. If you don't want to see me after all that, I'll understand. But please, I really want to talk to you. She, has, she was always a smart one. And the 31st is written in different handwriting. Oh yeah, she asked me. When would you be here and relatively free? So I told her about the party. I also assumed that you'd say yes to the party, which might not have been the best idea, now that I think about it. Boss, I'm having second thoughts about coming to the party. Because I really don't want to face Gabby again. Now it's coming back to me what drove me to never go back and apologize after all these years fear and shame. Shame, because I know I made a hit hideously stupid mistake and it's painful to face your mistakes and fear what they might say. With Lenore, we never broke up formally, so I was afraid that if we were to meet again, I don't want Gabby to tell me that she hates me to my face. It's in the right to break up with me and Gabby. It's in the right to hate me. I don't want her to. If I never see her again, she'll never tell me that end. You're thinking backwards. Didn't the letter say she won't understand you? If you bail out on this, she will hate you. But you're getting a new chance here. Life running from another memory. Just say to Armitage. 
that you hated feeling like that? Titty hacker. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> right. I know what happened when you fought with the girl's sister, but now you have a chance to make amends. Not only that, you have to watch what you in your back. Think about this. One day of fear, or your lifetime filled with regret, which one do you pick? Hate feeling like that. I want to run away this time. Hey boss, thanks. That's what friends are for, yeah. Anyway, let's start the day. Hello, Nairu Mifu. Oh, you love this game? Nice. It's nice to know you love this game. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Seriously, though, it's the second note that has strived such feelings in me. Two weeks ago, I got another note in the mail. This went from Lenore. Is the envelope you took away from her in the panic? Yep. You haven't opened it? Why not open it with Gabby? You're facing one fear. Might as well face the other. It's... Oh, I keep forgetting it's Sal. <laughs> I'm not used to your Twitch name yet. Sorry. My hand tracking doesn't work. Otherwise, you would... You'll see me put my hands on my face in embarrassment. I don't. <laughs> it's hard being the same color as your wall. <laughs> Maybe. Don't push her, Chief. I'm not. I just know she's capable of doing all that. I'll go secure stuff for the party. Call me if you need anything. Keep it up, Jill. Thanks. It's also really glad that you can make it, Sal. It's nice having somebody new here. Ooh, Stella, cat girl. Yay, hello. Happy holidays, Stella. Someone's happy. We had a party for the staff and their children. You should have seen the face on those kids receiving gifts. Nabbing that Santa suit at the last minute the other day was totally worth it. Santa dresses... Uh, I finished playing my video games and dinner, so I'm going to hang out here while eating peanuts. Oh, that's nice. I just got done eating, I guess the equivalent of dinner for me. It's still, it's like 6 a.m., but I was up all night. <laughs> yeah. Santa dresses seem to have been popular this year. I wonder why. I heard they were sold out in most places. There was this weird shortage of Santa suits, but luck was on my side this year. Sorry for that outburst. Why, you looked so happy, I felt happy too. You shouldn't hide your happiness. True. Anyway, can you get me a Cobalt Velvet, please? Hold on. Just gotta... I forgot I, lo I didn't load up my list. I have a list of what things like, what people like. Should really bookmark it. All right, now I can. Now I got that loaded up. I can uh, now do this. So what's your favorite song in this game, Sal, if you don't mind me asking? I love playing this game in the dark, cold atmosphere, and a drink in hand, iced tea. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, cold in my room. I could turn off my light and it'll be dark, but if I did that, then uh, my tracking might not work. So, <laughs> I don't really have any drinks. Yeah, I like this game. It's well written. I enjoy the atmosphere. But yeah, Sal, I think you got the best idea here. Thanks. Are you mean with Say today? Every day is night. And synthesis. <laughs> Synthetitch? Every day is night and synthesis stitch. I don't know how to pronounce that last part. <laughs> but I would agree. 
She told me she wanted a drink here, and since I was coming here too, sadly I can't stay for long. I have some errands to run. Oh, I said. How has she been lately? She's better. Her wounds have been healing really nicely. If only she stopped scratching her bandages so often. I specifically like my my jukebox playing fast, slow songs as the night goes on. Yeah, that makes sense. I, oh hers, sorry. I'll take longer to, it'll take longer to heal, but as long as it's kept clean, there should be no problem. Well, that's nice. Yeah, night fast to slow songs, pretty good idea. I don't really do that. My jukebox is. I can always change what it is, but probably will. Should be no problem. But to be honest, I'm more worried about her emotional wounds. She doesn't show it, but she had depressive bouts from time to time. You can blame her. Her life changed completely. The job she loved no longer exists. She was used as a disposable pawn in the whole bank affair. I'm afraid it will all make her go back to her old ways. There was a rough spot when Say was a teen. Her mom's clinic was about to close, then her biological father, who was an asshole, showed up. And the teachers at her school didn't help. Say is not a slow learner by any means, but her way of learning stuff is different. She needs equivalencies to things she knows. You need to get a bit in her mindset. Once you get this, she's a fast learner. Schools don't have that time, that kind of patience. They basically branded her a failure. She even dropped out. I would have suggested a special course somewhere else if that would have offended her. She's always been against being labeled special or different. I downloaded Valhalla on mobile and I deleted. <laughs> Why'd you delete it? Is it just too much space or? Anyway, Say was totally different during that period. Foul mouth short fused. Because it didn't work, lol. Fair enough. PC games ported over to that ported over to mobile usually don't work. Always frowning, the total opposite of how she is nowadays. From time to time I see that old look across her face and it scares me. Comparing her to her teen self though, people mature. Yeah. Maybe she'll show signs from time to time, but I bet Say knows better than to go back to that. Hope so. Get me something cold and sweet, will you? I think a piano? Was it man or woman? A piano man. Just let me double check my notes to make sure that's actually what she likes for that kind of request. Okay, I was actually wrong. I was thinking of someone else. I was thinking of something. I was thinking of a different person. Whoops. No. There we go. Is that wrong, right? Am I reading my notes wrong again? Yep. I was off by. I had, I had the right thing, I just was off by. What it was. It's down here. <sighs> hey, Vince, how's your day been? Thanks. This is the kind of stuff they ask for, you know? Not now that you mention it. You know, back then, Say reappeared. It seems that she came here first. Oh yeah, she told me that. I'm glad she found a familiar face after all that chaos. Did she tell you that... Did she tell you you had a talk at the back of the bar? You did? Well, it's nothing that important, but... She was devastated, you know? She was afraid, tired. It hit me quite hard, not only after seeing her covered in bandages, but also after seeing her so cheerful before. Oh, Yeah. Guess I should be thanking you then. When I met with her, she told me you calmed her down quite a bit. I'm guessing with all that was going on, the desire to not worry me weighed on her. It has happened before. So I, 
So it's good there was someone else for her to share with sh her stress with. Thanks. Sure. I don't think I did anything noteworthy, but sure. I've been wondering, can you really be so calm in the lower parts of the city? Hmm? I mean, the streets are not exactly safe. And a cat boomer is sure to become a target. Well, I have my security staff with me at all times, so there's no problem. Besides, this part of the city is comfier. Come again? Sure, uptown is cleaner and maybe more secure, but it's also too sterile. Around here, you can actually feel the warmth of the people. You feel their people living. I especially like going to a busy food stand. I feel a warmth there that Uptown doesn't have. Based. It's also easier to talk to people. You finally made it. If you try to talk to someone in the upper part of the city, you either sh they either shrug you off or flat out ignore you. People around here are a bit wary. It's also more likely to talk to you. Not that things aren't nice there, though. Did I get you something? Two beers for the girls. I'm asking for one for me, adding one to your order. Oh, that right. <laughs> uh, I still have issues with that. Two beavers for the girls. Thank you. Say, you should have seen the kids after you left. They were all playing with the toys you picked. You nailed it again this year. Oh, that's awesome. They were all asking, where's Say? Where's Say? What do you call you just Say when they can call me Auntie Stella? I don't look that old. <laughs> don't worry, they still like you. Sorry I had to leave, but Mom worked overtime that night and I couldn't leave her alone. What happened? Well, there were fireworks and some dog thought it'd be safe to hide in a jar. The little guy managed to get his head in, in a paw inside before getting stuck. And it was plastic, they couldn't just try to break it. That's messy. She needed someone to hold the dog while she worked. Poor fellow was scared. Well, I'm out. Oh, yeah. We'll have a New Year's party this Saturday if you want to come. Sure, it's better than disappointing myself with my dad's woes about the next fiscal year. I'll be here. Hey Jill, bye, say. Careful. Please come again. You wanna come too? I'd love to. I also make up for not coming last time. How was the party? Pretty nice. We played Truth or Dare. I just pretty much talked to Alma the entire time with that game. <laughs> Had some fun, broke some glasses, ate lots and lots of food. Looking back, the amount of food was ridiculous compared to the number of people who were there. Better leftovers than left hanging, don't you think? Yeah. I gave you something. <laughs> okay. Something classy. <sighs> what classy things to say like? Okay. I got a notification. Oh. Right, that's what it was. It's like champagne served on a cup that had a bit of cola left. <laughs> I like that bit of cola left. Nice detail. I also like the... I like the shape of the drink when you get it. Yep, this is the thing. Stella came in quite cheery about Sunday. Oh yeah. Well, you know, her birthday is actually the 25th. Really? It's a weird story from when she was a kid. She heard Mega Santa's story and somehow she got into her head that by being born on the 25th, she was a spiritual reincarnation of the original Santa that made her start giving out gifts like crazy. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh my god, that's so cute. I love it. She got over it, but the gifting stuck to her. Spiritual reincarnation. <laughs> well, the story says that Redmond family destroyed Santa's spirit, and that Mega Santa was reborn as a manifestation of the Christmas spirit. 
She thought she was the old Santa spirit in a new potty. <laughs> I was delusional as a kid. Uh, speaking of things you did when you were young, Stella mentioned she's worried about you going back to your old ways. Something about a rough period where you're angry or something. It's sweet that she's worried. But I won't go back to those days just like that, though. Even if I face the same situation, I'm more mature. Expect to have such children as much. Can you give me something bubbly? You know it's really bubbly? A cobalt velvet. Oh, Sal, what's your favorite drink in this game? If you're still here. Wanna see how Stella got her eye? What's your favorite drink in this game? Sorry, I was, I'm a little quiet today. She told me my story means she likes you enough, it's fine. You remember when I told you one night, White Knight saved me from another? Well, it's about the other one. Apparently, he was running away. They're doing something. Don't know. We were at the park, and he held us hostage. At one point, they tried to approach, and he just... Oh, shh! Shit! And this is a very inappropriate song for this time. Oh no. Hold on. I got facial expressions. Hold on. The buttons don't work. <laughs> ah. That's why she got that black eye. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. <laughs> I tried to stop him, but he just went and kicked me. I still remember that kick. I could feel my ribs breaking. There was pain in places I didn't know you could feel pain. <sighs> From time to time, I still relive that day. It's kind of chilly. I briefly regained consciousness after the kick, and I felt like I was being lifted. The white knight that attacked us was on the floor, not moving. I was on another white knight's shoulder. He took his helmet off and put it on an anguished Stella. I passed out. When I came to, I was in a hospital. Apparently, the kick ruptured a couple of organs, and I was put on emergency care. I woke up because Stella was punching my leg, telling me to wake up. <laughs> oh, that's too cute. What made you bring this up? I bring this up because that guy that was here last time I came, I think he's the one that saved us. Virgilio? What? Yes, I, I've, I've gone this far. I've gone this far, yes. We're, we're, we're past the point to where, uh, you know, shit went down, so. What made you think that? Sure, more pounds and years, but I'm pretty sure it's him. There's something about his face I just can't dismiss. Do you know the Steampunk Museum? Ask for Virgilio there. Virgilio. Virgilio. I don't know. Well, I'm done for today. Thanks, Jill. Take my break, Gil. <sighs> yeah. Piano Man is the first drink I think of when I think of Valhalla, but Sugar Rush is what I want to try. I actually... I like mixing Piano Man. It's on the rocks and mixed. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm more of a piano woman. I, I, I would like to try that, IRL. Looks interesting. I don't know. I don't know why I do. I just like it. wonder if I left food for four. I'll keep this.
Okay, I'm here. Um, Dorothy. You won't get through the bar any t you won't get through the bar any time too, and you can stop walking. Oh, honey. You want something? The usual, I guess. Use use Alright. Let's give Dorothy a piano woman. I know that's her favorite. Yes. Here. This is nice. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, you're freaking me out. What's up with you? Hey, honey. How do you know what's real? How so? I mean, how do you know if what you see is an actual thing? How can you tell if what you see around you is actually happening? What tells you everything is not actually a fabrication? What tells me I'm um, not just a simulation in a computer? And those ponderings brought you to the bar? What? Oh, I'm in the bar. Am I? Dorothy. So you're having a... Solipsic crisis of sorts? Oh fuck, she knows. <laughs> Solipa what? Slipicism. The theory that the self is, on is the only thing that can't be known to exist. See? That's another thing right there, the word slipicism. What does it even mean? Where the hell did it come from? Well, solus means alone and ipis means self. Yes, but how did it come to be? Do you expect me to believe that a lot of people just randomly decided to make a noise? And decided, hey, let's make this noise mean this. Does it make sense? I've been repeating words for a long time and they stopped making sense. Why? It's just semantic satiation. Oh, fuck, big words. Stop making up words, honey. And then there's the counter. How can I be sure the counter is really here? It is. Please stop tapping it. Hold on, just making sure. Another piano woman. Unless the guide, unless the guide I have here says otherwise. Okay, Vince, why did you DM me? <laughs> why did you? Uh <laughs> I don't mind you DMing me, but I just wanted to check the guide I have here, just to double check for endings and stuff. Ah, uh, all right. So I, I wasn't sure if this would be like a special moment where I need to give her something or give her a piano woman. Okay. 300 dollars, $320 for a drink. This economy is fucked up. Well, $80 basically gives you a pretty shit lunch. So I'm pretty sure this is the equivalent of like $15 or something. Like think of it like yen, I guess. Think of it like the Japanese yen, like a thousand dollars, thousand yen is like ten up, ten bucks. <laughs> That's how I like to think of it. In this world, cup ramen is ninety nine dollars. So yeah, their economy is bad, bad. Yeah. Unless it's like, yeah, either the economy is bad or just their inflation stabilized. The right rule. Ha ha ha. Yeah, the ruble's gone put down pretty bad. Stop tapping the counter so much. I'm this close to throwing this at your face, sorry. So let's start from the beginning. Since when did you have this existential crisis? Since early today, I think. I was remembering the good times I had with Mo. With mom, <laughs> with my guardian. Just say mom, Dorothy. Just say mom. But yeah, their calm is pretty fucked. <laughs> uh. 
but I don't know. It was all too sudden. I was thinking about everything that happened for a week ago until now. How much fun I was having. How much I loved everyone around me. How to know where the thoughts started piling up in my mind. What is love? What is fun? Are those feelings real? It's all real. Am I real? She wants to dot me, mommy. <laughs> What tells me I'm actually in a body? What if I'm just some computer somewhere thinking it has a body? Dorothy! You are literally a fucking computer with a body. What if I'm just a human girl in a comatose stream? What tells me that they're real? For all you know, I might just be a figment of someone's imagination. Or even just an AI simulation in some computer that thinks it's a human. I would subscribe. I subscribe to this idea. Because then that means I am human. I've been there, Dorothy. What existential doubt and crisis that understood the uncertainty about whether or not things are real. It was a couple of months only, but I remember having panic attacks. I'm scratching my arm to feel something. But the panic- yes, Vins, put the pieces together and you get what I'm saying. <sighs> I've never attempted to cut myself, but... You know, from time to time I get close. <laughs> but the panic attack gave me a rush of adrenaline. So I couldn't feel the scratch and the fear got worse. What'd you do to get over it? Oddly enough, I read a book. The Last Rain in the World, one of my favorites. At one point, I cried with the book and I realized I was crying over fake things, the story and its characters. I didn't care less for them, because they were fake. Why not think of reality like that too? Even if I'm a figment of someone's imagination, I'll still care about you. That's what I told myself, at least. It wasn't immediate, but that focus helped me. Quick question. Do the... If someone has schizophrenia and they have voices, does the voices know that they're voices? And if so, do they have existential crisis? That's my question. <laughs> a schizophrenia or, or a psychosis? I'm not sure. But like, do do they also have extent? Do the voices go through existential crisis? I know the voices can be like. I have psychosis. Yeah, we all have something. <laughs> At the end of the day. Although psychosis is pretty... That one shocked me. I thought he would just had severe depression. If you have a system, that's when the voices have identity crisis. Man. That would, that would be something interesting to experience. But also horrible. Source, I am a system. <laughs> uh... Yeah. It is interesting to experience. Emmy and Kara are watching you with me. That's nice to know. Sometimes it's a struggle because we don't know who we are. Well, they are them. Many po people try to focus on the who and the what, but I don't know. I don't try to focus on who or what I am. I don't know. I just try to be me. I just go with the flow of the universe. Yeah, that's interesting to hear, Sal. 
should probably read up on that. Considering the fact I used to be a psychology major. <laughs> and a history major. Uh, fun times. But yeah, I should probably read up on that. I could talk about it more in DMs if you're really curious. I like talking about the education. More on psychosis slash inner voices. Yeah, we can do that after the stream. I'd like to hear more about it. Alright, now back to the game. That's what I t I like this game, son. So I told myself at least. It wasn't immediate, but that focus helped me. I liked it. But hey, can I take that this drink? I made it for you. Okay, th okay then. <laughs> Sal podcast time, lol. Yeah. That would be interesting to hear. <laughs> Sal on a podcast. What will she say? <laughs> uh. I thought about doing them. I talked for very long time, so haha. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe I should just get a bunch of artists that I commissioned and be like, yo, I want to put together a podcast. And you guys are the only people I know. You can bring in some people if you want. I just kind of want to hear you guys talk about things. That'd be interesting to hear. I'll probably set something up. <laughs> it's gonna take a while though. Because I have to um, do the backgrounds and stuff. <laughs> uh, I'll lazy my way through it. <laughs> I'm the best at questions about mental health for sure. Or just video games. Oh, I'm not good at podcasts at all. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll experiment with it first before doing it with Sal. Bring in the. Uh, or not really experiment. Maybe I'll be a. Maybe I'll ask Blitzen to go on mine. Maybe ask the other stream tubers. Phew. <laughs> Blitz is experienced. I very much know Blitz's experience in podcasts. I actually appeared on his podcast uh, twice. <laughs> uh, it was a nice experience, though, for me. It got me kind of used to talking to people. On, um... And I'm more podcasty way because I'm the only form of experience I have with like podcasts before then was literally waiting two hours in the middle of a raid for somebody to come back from doing chores or eating so you just gotta sit there for two hours and talk to you know the other raid members so you just kind of run out of things to talk about <laughs> but you know you just come with dumb shit Yeah, it'd be nice. Why'd you throw it on your head? To feel something you made. It burns and itches a bit. I'm pretty sure this is the only liquid Dorothy put on when he threw at her head. I'll get you a towel. Delivery for Dana Zane. Oh, I've been here before. Mr. Mario, welcome back. I have a delivery for Donna Zane. Who's that? She's my boss. I'll get it for her. Right, sign here, please. It's a big package. I wonder what's inside. <laughs> Should open it if it's something perishable. Maybe I'll need to be. Maybe it'll need to be refrigerated. It's a, it's a wiener. <laughs> Mario is fine. Yeah, M Mario has that dorky lovability about him. I like it. Although for guys in this game, I'm I'm more I'm more interested in Gil. It's a wiener. A really big wiener. <laughs> I knew I I was literally going to make this joke. 
and they made it for me. I was literally thinking, I should make this joke, and I realized I probably shouldn't. You know. And they made it for me. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, honey. Hmm. That big package had a big wiener inside. <laughs> what will your boss do with such a thing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. How sh I don't know how she'll cook it. Perhaps she'll chop it. Honey, seems the wiener is too big to eat correctly. <laughs> Stop. Maybe you could prepare some winner. Let's prepare some right now. What do you say, honey? Do you want some of your pasta's week? God, I love this. I do. <laughs> Seriously, Jill. She's <laughs> making the jokes. And you're the one trying not to laugh too hard at them. Anyway, we all know she if we dare cook this without permission, she'll hate us upside down. She'll hate me upside down. Hey, Jacket Boy, what's your name? I'm Mario. Come on, Mario, I'll buy you a drink. I might have another delivery, you know. This is the last one, actually. I'll accept your offer. Have a sunshine cloud. Fine. Question is, probably really want a sunshine cloud. Yes. He really does beat everything he says. Uh, God. I, I love the fact he's also named Mario. The fact he's also named Mario is just absolutely tops it. Uh, fuck. I I wasn't blended. That's why. Uh, here. Thanks. Hey, um, call me Dorothy. You can also call me Darling for the right amount. Hey, Dorothy. Why'd you buy me a drink? Just to let you know, I don't swing that way. Optional. Catter, I mean. Sheesh. I, I'm not doing it this run. I will next run. And next run... Hold on, actually, maybe my third run I'll do that. But, for my f but I'm trying to, like, get a... Ch yes, he's gay. Smooth Dorothy. Have a chance. Angel is here. I think either that or it's a I think Angel might be here or something. Either that or the bot did a thing. Yes, he's gay, I have a chance. Yes you do, Sal. What way, Lilum? I'm a man's man. I like men, okay. Not that there's anything wrong with liking women, but I swear I saw Mario in another movie. You know what? He kind of looks like the Speed Racer guy. I meant an anime. Oh. Akira. Oh, don't worry. I was thanking you. That guy with the jacket and Akira. Yeah. I have no idea what you guys are referencing. Maybe we can do a watch party of that. <laughs> thanking me. Akira, yay. You read my mind, so. Oh, Vince, you made a friend. Your package, let me see, honey. You're laughing like an idiot. It's easier than you think. What made me happy and I... Don't know. It fit with that show was telling me earlier. I'm more calm than when I entered. Glad to help, I guess. Well, duty calls. Bye, Mario. Bye, John. Bye, honey. Enjoy your big wiener. <laughs> uh, out with you. She seems like a nice girl. I don't mean for it to sound like I... I get it. I get it. Don't worry. You like guys. It's clear. Speaking of you like motorcycles, don't you? I do, yeah. Have you been on a motor district? Dorothy, like a few minutes ago, just experiencing post-nut clarity. Yeah. Spent all my free time in the motor district, actually, why? 
Is it true that they say about all the illegal races going on there? You're not a cop, are you? As far as I remember, no. Well, I mean, there are illegal races. There's also a semi-legal league going on there. <laughs> the authorities acknowledge that there's races going on. They don't know what goes on in them, though, however. Modified engine casualty substance abuse. The illegal ones end up being safer in the end. Huh. Have you heard about a biker called Christian Love? Miss Love, of course. Everyone knows who she is. What about her? Is her gain as dangerous as they say? I don't know. Nobody knows. They look intimidating enough, but truth is, nobody has faced them directly. Moreover, nobody wants to be the one to get beaten up to a pulp if they turn out to be what they seem. <laughs> so her gain is just there, menacingly, doing their own thing, not bothering anyone. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh, do you want anything else? I have a piano, man. Hit reset by accident. Fuck, I keep messing this up. Here. Yeah, this is nice. This will sound weird, but do you believe in Replobots? There are. There's the belief that some little amount there are designed to perfectly replicate a practical human. That someone or something replaces those humans with such little. Thus they call them replobots. You know a lot about this. I don't. It's in most magazines nowadays. <laughs> well, it's the first time I heard about it. What about you? On my way here, I almost ran over my neighbor. He just showed up in the middle of the street. I was just... I say almost because he moved really quickly out of the way. Then I went to deliver a package and somehow my neighbor was there. Almost immediately after the whole thing. He was there the whole time. <laughs> Maybe it was someone that looked like him. He had the same looks, clothes, and mannerisms. Trust me. You know a perfect replica when you see one. <laughs> and you saw the kid Lilim here. They could easily pass off as human. There are even Lilim idol singers nowadays. Those voices can pass off as human. They could be passing off as humans under our very own nose. Replacing us little by little. At this point in time, I really doubt it. Lilim behavior is a bit different. You can easily tell someone's a Lilim because they seem how I put this. They don't care about risk and danger as much as we do. They treat risk with a lot more leniency. <laughs> Still be careful. Keep an eye out for uncanny doppelgangers. Thanks for everything. What's your take on their Repla bot thing? Do you believe in them? Do you? Not really. There's the Lilims among us. They're sussy bakas. When I was in high school, I had this irrational fear of aliens. I was paranoid that they would come. What would I do then? I remember I lost lots of sleep because of it. Let me finish. After many months of fear, I reached a conclusion that might as well apply here. It's useless to be afraid. I'm but a simple woman. I wouldn't be able to do shit against them. So I'd rather live without being afraid. Because the memories of not being afraid will be only soulless when the villain crabs invade crab people crab people I mean when the replobots come Jill are you still afraid of aliens what part of it's useless to be afraid and you catch <laughs> crabs anything happen I discovered I have a sense of humor of an eight year old they buy you they brought you a package ah yes my curated wiener. <laughs> it's a gift from my folks. It was delayed in customs, but here it is. You guys want some of it? It's a new one. <laughs> oh, cool. May 2000. <laughs> I want to clap some aliens. Okay, Vins. Uh. 
Jill wonders if Mankai Nekos actually bring luck. Nah, I'm not that down bad, I own. Are you sure? You're just the one that admitted that you want to clap alien cheeks. I'm just making a joke. Okay, whatever you say. Whatever you say. <laughs> For you've been chuckling since yesterday, <laughs> wiener. <laughs> I want to clap all my ass. <laughs> uh, we all do, <laughs> except for Sal. I think Sal wants Mario. Woman marries anima payload. Nobody is actually surprised. Dorothy is my favorite girl. Oh, you don't want to clap Mario's cheeks? Okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I can like more than one person. Like more than... Wait, why is the rest of the why is the P in person little? But the rest of it is capitalized. I don't know why you put person <laughs> in caps. Imagine me yelling. I could like more than one person. I don't know. I'm not a yelling person. I don't really. That'll do. I guess I'll do. I'm not, I'm not a yelly person. I also can't really think of people yelling. I don't know why. I never try to like read something at somebody yelling. It just doesn't. I just don't do it. I don't know why. <laughs> I changed so much that someone marrying a literal object feels kind of tame now. The pillow has some form of intelligence. It might be somewhat different, but it's just a plain generic anime hug pillow. Give it to times, grandma. <laughs> Wanna marry me, can't marry your own son. Because I can't. I have like a soft ass voice. I actually. Oh yeah, that's right, you kinda do. Yeah. I don't. The only times I ever really yell is when I get stressed, and that stress leaks out into frustration. But like, it's short bursts. But yeah, I don't I don't really yell. Let's go to work. Good evening. Ah, Jill. I'm out to get firecrackers. It's New Year's, right? We need some. Wanna firecracker scare off the Yeah, good idea. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll be back in a bit. Even for a cat lover, sure get excited about firecrackers a whole lot more than when dogs are involved. I know how critical sounds and I don't care. Uh, Jamie's here. Greetings. Anyway, let's start. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Ah, the guy that wouldn't come back twice. By any chance, did someone fly over here two weeks ago? Friday. Yes. There were lots of weird explosion noises throughout the night. What day are we again? Um, answer that real quick, hold on. We are on day 16 of the game. And we got actually a few more days. There's like a 17 to 18 days, I think. <sighs> 
So yeah. We can get some random ass ending. Uh, there's only like five endings. Well, actually there's six. But. It's a lot of weird explosion noise throughout the night. But as far as I understand, those were made by a flying drone or something like that. So it flew by here. I take it you know what made the noises. Let's just keep it at whatever drone story you heard. Noisy guy, knowing after a while, I must say. I don't know what counts as in the vicinity, but yeah. This and explosions all night. Interesting. So it didn't get far away. Hmm. Now give me a Mars Blast. All blended. Wait, did you get Alma becoming a boob tender? I meant bartender for a while. I mean, yeah. She was in the back of the bar. You know what? Shameless plug into my YouTube. Let me go pull up the link. Uh, da, da, da. copy, paste. Maybe check out my YouTube for the VODs when I upload them. Hopefully they're in the right order. If not, then just shuffle around for a little bit. <laughs> well, you didn't mess up. Sorry if I may interject. Looking for a fight? Most certainly not. <laughs> really think you stand a chance? You're like half his size. I could fight dirty. He kills people for a living. I could fight dirty. <laughs> Chill, please. You make me sound like a savage. It'd be like me saying that you get people drunk for a living. It's not wrong. There are better ways of saying stuff like that. Alright, sorry. Like I said, I'm not looking for a fight. I just noticed you seem like a strong drinks. What about it? Let's be honest, it's a rare sight in this bar. I even come to believe I'm the only one here who enjoys them aside from the owner. It's basically what a bartender is, yeah. Might I suggest you try a suplex next time? It might be to your liking. Okay, let's try the suplex thing. Suplex starts with an S and not an I, brain. Oh wait, that was wrong. All on the rocks and mix. Uh, here. Good stuff. Like a less burning, but punchier pile driver. Say your face looks somehow familiar, mister. Call me Jamie, and you are? I'm Ingram. Anyway, I think I say your face somewhere. Maybe when I need to look for a specific file at him. Should perhaps go through a nano machine expunge. Did actually. Figured as much. Only a handful of people do that. Tuplex. And almost all of them are people with nano machine rejection that feel oddly suicidal. So why go through the whole thing rejection? Need to hide something? Nano machine sons. The second one. It's easier to remain undetected when they have no means to track you or your activity. How does the expunge work? You lie in a pressure chamber. They give you a special IV solution, causes nano machine rejection, while giving you the antibodies needed to prevent them from getting back in. For five hours, you're trapped in a bed while a horrible pressure builds up in your body and nano machines are forced out. They're like little needles all over your body. Oh shit. You feel them in your eyes, in your gums, in your toes, everywhere. And after all that, they need to implant you with a mechanism that constantly releases the same antibodies. What are you having, Jamie? This is a gut punch. Yeah, I should have figured. Hey, give me one of those. Damn. This dude hardcore. Here. Yeah, I love these. Looks different from yours, though. I had a couple of extras in his, actually. So where's the antibody unit? They stuck in you, Jamie. 
inside like all other maintenance systems. Give you troublesome at times, but the purchase of not having nano machines in the body outweighs the cons. And the rest of the other enhancements were you constructed, or have you been adding them over time? Over time, either by getting a much needed enhancement or through fixing injuries. Well, it was a pleasure, Jamie, but I gotta leave. Please come again. Don't count on it. You said that twice. Shut up. You seem like a nice guy. I won't call him a bastard, but he's not the nicest in the bunch. Maybe you caught him on a bad day. Nah, I think you're just that good at brightening up the nice side of people. That guy tries to tires the hell out of me. Someone in a good mood? Give me a bad touch, will you? <laughs> that way you'll get me in a good mood too. I'm just gonna look up the guide because I actually want to get Alma's ending, I think. Ah. <sighs> Uh All right. Yeah. Nothing really happens. Booba woman. Yes, booba woman. We need to get Alma sex. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Here. Chill, you have such a pretty, petty sense of humor. Guilty as charged. So what put you in a good mood? Oh yeah, that. Today, my sister was supposed to be in court for all the custody proceedings. Of course, not only does she show up later than her husband and drunk at that, but also dressed like she got fucked in the back of a parking lot. She probably did. And on top of it all, she forgot to even bring her kids. <laughs> ah! Luckily, my parents brought them to court. The judge assigned the kids to my parents for the time being. So they really messed it up, huh? Oh, damn, yeah. When they came back to the house and Diana started throwing a temper tantrum, she said it was, said it was lucky her husband didn't get the kids because the angst would make her jump into the hallway. So Ava comes and says, Then make sure it kills you because we aren't dealing with you as a cripple. I should have reinforced that behavior, but I don't know. Maybe it was the timing, but I've been laughing for an hour now. Feel quite the animosity for Diana, don't you? She and I used to be the closest friends when I was seven or eight. We played all the time. We even slept on the same bed for a while. Then she turned into a teen. We stopped playing. She had things she wanted to do. I could forgive all that. I mean, the age difference and all. If there is something in particular I still can't forgive. It was the day she invited her friends to the house and I went to ask her something. And as I was leaving, one of her friends asked if I was her sister. She said she had no little sisters. I think that was the moment that finally broke the pedestal I held on her. I admire her as much as a kid could admire someone you know. Little by little that admiration wore off until we finally reached that breaking point. I felt betrayed. And you haven't been able to forgive her after 40 years? Hey. It's not that I still hold a grudge against her, but rather... The Deanna who said all those things so many years ago is the same Deanna that I know today. She hasn't matured one bit. She's still as selfish, childish, and immature she was back then. <sighs> when you see her, you don't see an adult. See an overgrown, horny teen. Alma's a milf? No, she isn't. She doesn't have kids. So aside from destroying any admiration I held for her, she made sure not to fix that impression. But enough about me, how are you? Everything's fine aside from this note. Remember how I told you I lashed out at the... 
my ex-girlfriend's sister. Yeah, I got this note from her. Wow, she must really feel bad about the whole thing. As do I. So what's the problem then? Same fear that drove me away from her in the first place. Give me a brand teeny, will you? There's a little story I want to tell you. Here. This is the thing, let's start. Boo. Hell no. This is the story of a girl who grew disillusioned with one of her sisters. Soon it became animosity. Not long after that, she distanced herself completely from said sister. With time, the girl would become attracted to her, attached to her eldest sister, looking up to her achievements. All I can look at right now are those boobs. <laughs> Not you. Said sister would even marry their girl's best friend. Not soon after. And after the girl went into college, said sister would quit her job. The sister was worried sick about leaving her baby kid alone, prompting her to quit her high-ranking job. What if I hire your high-ranking lips? <laughs> Shut up. The girl, even as an adult, felt betrayed. Her role model sister went against everything she held in her high esteem for. She's no longer a child, and yet she felt like a part of her had crumbled. Hey, Joe. I can lift her sweater. Do you want to see? I bet you want to see. All right, enough. Shit. Peace out. I know the girl is you and your sister is your eldest sister. Please get to the point. Right. The point is, if you don't face her, she will be heavily disappointed. Anna knows what we want, though. <laughs> She's trying to make amends with you. That just take courage, lots of it. Yeah, you're right. My mouth's dry. Can I get a beer? I know. And the worst part is, somebody actually made that happen. <laughs> Hannah knows me. Uh. Here. So tell me, did you and this Gabby girl get along? Oh yeah. I never had- yes, yeah, so, wait, Vince, how do you not know? I thought you would've known. Yeah, somebody made an animation based on that. <laughs> I never had brothers or sisters. No. <laughs> Happy hunting. I never had brothers or sisters. Source? Happy hunting. I never had brothers and sisters, but once Lenore introduced me to her as her sister-in-law. She got so excited about having a new sister, and she clung to me a lot. I helped her in her studies, read books with her, played with her a lot. She she was pretty much my sister, too. To leave, but I'll tell you this. It's both a big and little sister. If you don't grant that girl the chance of talking to you, I'll never forgive you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a small New Year's party this Saturday, if you're interested. I'm sure I'll be there. Remember, I won't forgive you. <laughs> Take my break. Bah. You were here? You were quite absorbed in the conversation just now. Jamie even said goodbye to you, didn't you hear? Call me if anything comes up. Uh, Vince, it's not that difficult to find. So let's chilly today. Jill, a kid's looking for you. Hey. Oh, no, Mara. You're back. Oh, fuck you. Already got it. <laughs> that was quick. As expected. Uh... You do know I'm not giving you any drinks, right? Crap, I said it out loud. Yeah, um, actually, I wanted to thank you. She thought it was for me, her. Thank me. Well, for starters, I'm not complying. By not complying, you're giving me alcohol. Everything else would have fallen apart if I had some. I 
kind of face with mom and told her all about the pressure she was putting on me. And said I wanted to figure out what I wanted to do. Well, she didn't speak to me for two days. After that, she told me that I'd be a waste to spend money in a university just for me to not give it all my all. She told me to still go to the college, to college course, but I was free to explore. And well, I wanted to thank you for that. If I just rushed headfirst into my original plan, things would have gotten ugly. You were right. I'd be hurting her for the sake of hurting. So thank you. I'll leave before it's too late. It goes late outside. Be careful. Shut up. Hey, J Gil. My hey, Jill, mind helping me here? Sure. Make a bleeding Jane, please. Uh, yep, here we go. F how has to be all blend- Oh, has to be blended. I thought I had blended. <laughs> I'm so used to not doing the blended drinks. It's rare when I get one. Thanks. Hey, Joe. Do you hate me? Hate is a harsh word. It's not against you directly, rather than the fact that I only can see you. Like I told you, if they wanted, they could see me. Why can't I? You're the main character, don't know. <laughs> hey! What are you? A cute girl. You okay, Jill? Making a lot of faces there. Um, yeah, just remembering stuff. Could you give me a hand here and serve a beer, please? Thanks. Would you lighten up if I showed you I can interact with the environments? Maybe it'll spook me, but let's try. There. Can't see anything. Yep. Weird. Nobody expects the Dorothy Inquisition. Yes, Vins. Damn, bro. <laughs> uh. Oh, God. Uh, I don't know which one you found, actually. <laughs> I actually have no idea which one you found. <laughs> the fact that I owe you one, dude. Oh, that's why you're saying, oh god, okay. I was concerned you found something else. <laughs> I was along the same lines. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. Okay. Just... Just posted it in the uh, the the correct channel. Just at me. And I'll, be, I'll just double check for you. Dorothy Inquisition, Dorothy. Ouch! I biz my ton. Can't believe I'm using the spare ton so early in the night. Honey, oh hey Dorothy. I'm making a quick stop for a drink. Can I get a fluffy dream? But does she actually want to? Okay. Yeah, so just add me in the correct channel. And, uh... I, I can double check for you. <laughs> Thanks. Oh yeah, before you leave. What, are you guys throwing a New Year's party too? Yep. Sure, I'll be there. Well, I've got things to do, so... You do? Who does what? Sorry, I sneezed. Weird sneezes. Anyway, I'm out for now. Oh yeah, Joe? Take care of Becky, please. Man, she was in a rush. Okay, fuck that noise. Fireworks are sold out everywhere. I'll need to get them through more shady means. She's gonna buy them from the internet. She'll find them and put us all at risk of burning. I'll make sure there's an extra extinguisher at hand. <laughs> please. Well, I guess that's it for today. Sure, you're fine. I am. Don't worry. Hey, Jill. Mind if I ask a silly question? You seem, you seem my clients. You can assume I don't mind silly questions. Silly answers can get on my nerves, though. Sorry, what did you want to ask? Do you know why they call them cat boomers? 
I mean, I guess their second set of ears look like a cat's, but the word boomer seems to be out of place. Not so much when you consider it's not them, but their parents who are called su who are called such. Let's get a bit back first. You do know why cat boomers look like that, right? Because they went through some anti nano machine rejection treatments while they were still a fetus, right? It's called the Yamazaki Romanova treatment. Or was it the Romanova Yamada treatment? The Roma. Let's call it the catification procedure. It's not only the first successful genetic treatment on a fetus, but also the first way to fight nano machine rejection. Moreover, that research had a bit of a rocky start. Funding got cut in the middle of it at a critical point. That could make or break the whole thing. Not to mention Zabotsu Corp's record of not addressing nano machine rejection at all. The rest of the research was funded by Maki Stingovich. Was it Stingovich? Let's call him Stingovich for now. He's a businessman whose unborn daughter got diagnosed with early nano machine rejection. Stingovich funded the research, and in a desperate move, his wife offered herself and her daughter as test subjects. Of course, the experiment was a success. The girl, Sylvia Stingovich, didn't die. She became a living testament of a scientific breakthrough. But then the story of how things played out for Sylvia got sensationalized in the middle, and the media created a weird fad. Parents made their onboard children go through the catification procedure, even if they had no ailments at all. All because one particular girl whose life got saved through that treatment became a media darling for a bit. The whole, gener whole generation of kids with those cat-like protrusions got born, and their parents got called cat boomers. A generation of parents obsessed with those cat-like features. The fad quickly passed, but the term remained in use. Eventually, the cat boomer just started being used for people with the protrusions instead of their parents. Keep calling them protrusions. Why is that? Because that's what they are. You didn't think those things on their heads were ears, right? Sure, they can be moved because they're somehow connected to the facial and ear, ear muscles. Thus, they can move like a cat's and react to their mood. But in the end, they're just appendages with no real function. I feel like if we were to do genetic engineering, this is probably how they would do it. I just remembered something. I, I can't believe I actually forgot this. Oh, where's OBS? There's OBS. I just remembered something. A very critical detail. That is very important. I don't know how I forgot this detail. God damn it. <laughs> uh... Penges with no real function, huh? Cat femboy I own. I wouldn't really call my character a femboy. More like just a skinny guy that just has a ponytail. But sh that's fair enough. It still surprises me a bit though that the biggest mutation they ever get after the treatment is just that. Those ears are a small miracle on their own. People have been born with no eyes for less intrusive procedures. You really thought they were functional ears, huh? Let's say I learned quite a bit today, thank you. Don't worry, I feel like I should apologize for talking so much instead. Keep in mind, I'm fucking up the terms. I don't want you saying someone got protrusions because of a catification procedure. Keep it in mind. Wait. Yeah, the guy's name was Stingovich. Eh, just remembered Sylvia Stingovich was around my age. And when I was a teen, there were some TV specials featuring her. And I just remember that I had the biggest crush on her. And now that I think about it, that crush had had me very confused back then. Oh no. <laughs> Did you need a shout just now? Sorry. In any case, I'm out for the day. All booze and no firecrackers makes Dana a, dur a dull girl. <laughs> uh... Kira Miki. Buying one of her posters will prevent her from getting too distracted. 
Oh crap! I didn't buy the poster. Hey. Okay, so we've got almost everything, but we're still missing a couple of things for Saturday. And so I'm designate you, Gillian Applegate, an official guy who goes to buy the rest of the stuff. Applegate? I have no idea who that is. Why me? I could send Jill, but I wouldn't dare send a lady by herself. And I could go with her, but I believe the bar should have at least two people in the vicinity at all times. You're not gonna say anything, Jill. If it means not being a delivery girl, I'm happy to fake haplessness. <laughs> uh, fine. Give me that list. I'll be back sometime. Something tells me you're planning something, boss. What gives you that impression? Call it a gut feeling. Did you know Gil has a crush? <laughs> what? He client of his, a girl that owes, owns a bazaar. She's been coming on to him for ages. And he's only just started opening up. But he's taking steps backward and I'm not going to let him. He's opening up for fuck's sake. And so the errands will take him to the bazaar, I take it? That's right. Alright then, go to the office, I go. <laughs> uh, base Dana. Time to mix drinks. Gil with a crush, huh? This place great. Oh, if it isn't. <gasps> Kiara Miki! Kira Miki. Sorry. Is there anywhere I can hide? There's an unpleasant guy on my trail. Boss, stock. Stocked woman incoming. The door is open. Go to the door to the left. Hello there. Oh, hi there. The other one. That's the bathroom. Wait, what's the dog doing in the bathroom? Now, where did she... Oh, the hellhole. Perfect. Hey, kid. I'll have the usual. It's Jonah Jameson. He's here to find pictures of Spider Woman. Here. This seems right. The paper's been a mess lately. You'd think with all that's happening, we stay and do more reports. But they're all asking for vacations and I can't afford to be understaffed. So I had to come up with some sort of reward for whoever produces the most reports. I see no difference in my feed, though. Mr. Donovan, I don't mean to sound rude, but... You do know that infamy of the augmented eye with the general public, right? A, sh a shooty paper that will over anything and report useless things? Of course I know. Then why not try to rectify that image? To put it simple, I'm being clutched by the balls in the, non in the non pleasant way. Zimbatsu Corp and company have an eye on every publication they haven't bought yet. Report on them once and they'll find something to find you with. Twice and you'll find more resources severely cut. Anything beyond that in the best case scenario is that they'll buy the damn operation to keep it quiet. I know there are more newsworthy things than whatever it is with the lackeys picked out that week. But if I ever step my ass on the line, glad to see this hellhole is still in one piece. The PTC have been going apeshit closing bars lately. Yesterday they closed one that served as a key part of a drug trafficking ring. And last week they closed three small bars that served as illegal chicken restaurants. Not to mention, there are like a hundred people who have BTC certificates that never use them. Said they keep those credentials around to stop police from raiding their homes or warehouses. I don't know about you, but it's obvious to me that some restructuring will begin at the BTC after the whole thing. Man, shit ran deeper than I thought. And no news outlet talks about that. Alright kid, let's try a moon blast now. Hey, even I have to break the routine from time to time. Moon Blast. Or do you say Mars Blast? Fuck it. Okay, he actually did say Moon Blast. Can I actually load? I don't think I can load.
Here. Now let's see what the ruckus is about. Who brought you here? Oh right, did you see a Lilum coming in here? Blue hair, big tits. You there or are you just eating peanuts? <laughs> she's still she's still in chat. I think she's eating. She's still watching. She's the one from the Encore concert coming up. Just doing pit crew, haha. <laughs> oh, that's fine. You can do things. Aw, Vince Miss Sal. That's that's sweet. She's the one from the Encore concert coming up. Did she jump to the roof then? Why were you looking for her? Do you want an interview? Not really, just hitting on her. Hey, I said hitting on her, not hitting her. Stop glaring. Why though? Are you that bored? Don't you have like a family or something? Have you seen that girl? <laughs> I'm suffering the weirdness combo of being uh, curious as shit right now. <laughs> oh, I don't know, just... <sighs> and so you followed her. I've yet to meet a woman that can resist the charms of Donovan D. 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 Dawson. You're in front of one, and I'm guessing you have quite a selective memory. Like I said, don't you have a family or something? A wife, but that woman cheats on me as much as I cheat on her. In fact, I'm pretty convinced she gets... So that Lilum isn't here, huh? I'll have to find the placement denier. <laughs> hey, after you've done, Glaren, please serve me a pile driver. I just want to give him this, but a pile of driver will do. Here. Alright. I did not load. I did not save. Well, seeing as she's not here, I have no reason to stay. Maybe I'll find someone that looks a bit like her. Oh, alright. Thanks for sheltering me, Donna. Hope your sister likes the video. No, thank you. Seems you had a hearty talk. Your boss is such a fun person. She is. Her sister's a fan of mine, so I recorded a small video of her and a couple of photos. How nice of you. It's nothing, really. She did hide me. It's just the least I could do. But, well, we're here already. Mine gave me something sweet. <gasps> Ooh, let me look up the guide. Because I actually want to give her everything she wants. Oh, God. I actually don't have Bulan tea, so I can't give her that. Alright. Piano woman. Sparkle star. Always buy the tea first, haha. I should have suggested it. Well, I'm, I'm very far in the game at this point. I just, I'll swing back around and I'll do like a 100% run, th a almost 100% run through. This is described as like you could use it in the bar, I think. I'm pretty sure it is too. I just... I just never really figured that one out until it was too late. Thanks. So, do you know why Donovan was following you? I don't, but I was in the mood to deal with him. His questions were a bit over the line last time, too. Not the worst I dealt with, but I didn't want to humor him. See, seems like he's just trying to come on to you. Well, not like he'd have a chance anyways. I'm not into older guys, and I'm already committed to a relationship. Wait, what? Not, it's not common knowledge, and the ones that hear it try to dismiss it as rumors, but I've been in a relationship with my producer for a while now. Why is it always the producer? But also, congratulations, girl. We were both single, and that kind of stuff is bound to happen when you spend as much time together. But it all started when he read an entry I made in my blog about wanting to experience love and the like. He offered to help with that. After he read it, I thought, sure, why not? <laughs> Man. If only this worked for me. <laughs> uh, there's, only, there's only so many times I think you're cute when I go out. Works. And when it does, it's usually like... 
a relationship doesn't last due to a conflict of interest. Or just there's some other problem in the relationship that you're like, yeah, well, this isn't going to work out long term. And we tried fixing it and it just isn't working. We aren't putting too much effort into actually fixing the problem. Might as well end it there. So I just don't have good success, but you know. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> uh, I already know him well enough. I wouldn't hurt to try. He's a stick in the mud we're playing as dude, but he's a sweetheart otherwise. You know, I met two fans of yours lately. Both of them seemed so excited when you were talking. And talking about you is amazing. I don't like the term fan too much. It strikes me as a bit pretentious in my opinion. I have merry fans. Doesn't say as well. I like many people who like my music better. Fan evokes an ugly or more pretentious image too for me. Do you like what I do, Jill? You like my music? To be honest, I haven't had much exposure to your work, but a few things I heard are really good. Yeah, she has some good songs. And not gonna lie, having talked to you, I feel like I would support you even if I didn't like you. If even if I didn't like it, based. So nice to hear. Hey, this will sound familiar. But do you have anything like tea? No, I don't. I don't have any tea. We have frothy water. Uh. Here. Too vague of an odor, huh? Sorry. Hey, you're a King Class CH1A, right? That I am. May I ask you something about your model? Are there any differences between you and a DFC-72? Hmm. We both serve the same purpose, but DFC-72s have a port on their heads, which makes them more versatile. My line lacks that or or, a li or resilience in the DT-01Ds, but we're a tad more polished elsewhere. More specifically, our voice emulators are more advanced and our movements are smoother. A trade-off of functionality and power for appearance, you could say. So anything new for this concert? Hmm, well, it is an encore, so we're trying to make it the same for those that couldn't go to the first one. But we always try to spice it up, like maybe it was Surprise Song or something. There was this one time I sang a cover of a song by Blink. Of course, in return, they sang Your Love is a Drug. Do you know the Blink Girls? Really nice kids. You'd be surprised how different they are on stage personas they are. Suzu, for example, can be really childish at times. She also laughs a lot and loudly at that. Meanwhile, Anya is a party girl through and through. If they're not on tour, she spends her time partying like crazy. Huh, hard to believe. I mean, their image is what a stoic girls with little expressions. It's like living Victorian dolls or something. Well, they wanted to pop out in the public. They once told me, if you want people to notice us, we have to break the cutesy idol concept. And so they took the opposite route to become cool beauties with melancholic songs. I wouldn't say they went the opposite way. The opposite of QC idols would be unkempt, tone-deaf girls spewing vitriol and hate. True, I guess. Well, I gotta go, but let's have a sparkle star first. He's driving my bra is itching. Uh, I'm not gonna get a shit face, though. Here. Sparkling. Well, it's always a pleasure, Jill. Will do. Oh, the handsome bartender. Nice to see you. Um, uh, boss skills back. I'll take my break. All right. <laughs> it's not safe to keep playing. Not note to self. Buy oil for that door. <laughs> Alright then. Gil, you're in my spot, please. Oh, sorry. Also, you're cleaning one of the boss's chicken buckets. Did boss ask you to do that? If I told you she did, would you believe me? Without a doubt. Let's go with that then. Greetings. <gasps> Yay! Ah, Stella. What can I get you? 
I'd go with a bleeding Jane today. Pizza with a double cheese. But does she really want a bleeding Jane? Okay. Apparently. Okay, that's an interesting note in the guide here. But that ain't gonna happen. Alright. All blended. <sighs> so, what's your guys' plans for today? Curious to know. Thank you. What brought you here today, Wani? Waiting for say? Came by myself, actually. I was in the area and stopped to say hi. My... Okay. Just relaxing and drawing later or talk to you if you're up for it. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I have time before I gotta do stuff. Uh, today I gotta get my hair cut. And I gotta go to the dentist. I also have work tonight as well on top of it. I, I tried to cancel work, but my, my dad threatened me was charging rents if I uh if I did that so <laughs> uh. oh well ah oh, shit I also gotta text my boss today and ask him if he can swap I forgot to do this last night and yesterday morning fuck I gotta text my boss Ask him to change Friday work day to Thursday. All well, your plans are just you chilling, Vince. But yes, it would be nice to talk to you later. It's pretty interesting, though. When I first saw you, I doubted you ever come here again. Well, this place is comfortable, I must admit. So quiet and secluded. It's also clean, really clean. Gil's the one you can owe that to. Guy takes pride in how clean he keeps things around here. If you ever need cleaning staff, he's a nice pick. Really? Mm -hmm. He's a bit out of it today, though. Let's see. Hey, Jill, have you heard of the new gold rush in the city? Everyone is paying small fortunes to get their hands on pieces of white knight suits. I think I heard or read something about that, but I'm having doubts, so probably not. In any case, how's that a gold rush? Well, the tech behind the suits was always safely guarded, but after the events at the bank... Sorry. After the events at the bank, the suits were remotely shut down, bricking many of them in the process. Many units dropped their armor right there and fled when the lynchings went on. Idiot White Knight still stuck in their suit had to take the armor off manually to run away. It all happened in the middle of the lynchings, so they'd be sitting ducks if they didn't. Some weren't that lucky. So between the suits becoming glorified paperweights and many white knights going on the run, there ended up being a lot of junk lying around. But the whole scientific community is rejoicing. They're on a race to reverse engineer the suits and take as much technology as possible from them. Even single pieces of the armor fetch a high price these days. Could anyone see, see any profit from that research to justify those expenses? It's new tech, a whole new field of ripe with patents just opened for many, so I'd say yes. I mean, the BTC is literally a conglomerate built upon patents and trademarks. I can see how. It's one weird case, though. There's this guy named Jack. He's a captain of a very unique Blitzkrieg Corps unit. The guy had a really small unit, five people including himself. The aesthetics of his unit's armor was heavily modded to the point that they looked like a squad of Hessian heroes. Ahem. They looked really gaudy. But it turned out that the guy actually broke through the software and disabled the remote switch. He was the one of the few, if not the only, suits of armor with the OS intact. To say there's say they're among the most wanted people would be an understatement. It's interesting the amount of things you hear when dealing with drunk people of all kinds in the same place. This also helps to put on a front that makes people lower their guard. And that should sound familiar to you. Wait. Here's a freebie of fun fact. The failsafe was originally going to involve the armor blowing up and leaving no traces, but regulations and laws didn't allow that kind of technology near civilians. 
Guess even Zabatsu Corp had its limits, huh? People love to demonize Zabatsu Corp. Because let's face it, they're far from innocent. But they're not evil overlords, they're just greedy. They're just a big corporation. They just so happen to have control over what tremendous uh, amounts to a city state. But corporations will naturally resort to draconian methods. I've heard horror stories from people outside the city about trying to use product placement. If you so much as hold us a bottle the wrong way or get in the way of a logo, you'll be in for lots of trouble. Let's not start with theme parks or the like. Those are dystopias of their own. Then again, most of the demonization is due to Quincy being such a clown. He has no power anyways. He's just the front that whatever council behind the Zabatsu Corp chews. He makes a fool of himself and the attention is taken away from whatever it is that Zabatsu Corp is actually doing. So you're saying is that Glitch City is basically a huge theme park? I've called the White Knights glorified mall security in the past, so yeah. Hmm. No, seriously, Hen, what? Ahem. Can I get a Brantini here, please? Uh. Here, thanks. So I take it you're in a good mood today? A bit. Yeah, well, I managed to nab a couple of tickets for the Kiara Miki Encore concert. Nice. Oh, right, as it turns out, she was just here. Sorry. Again, can't believe I missed her. I was surprised too. I was more surprised she remembered my name, though. And like last time, she was quite the graceful client. Man, so those rumors about her being really nice in person were actually true. Amazing. Yeah, Kiara Miki's absolutely a doll. I mean, you always want the famous people to be nice in real life. But having such back into that claim, you hear she's so nice to everyone. It's nice to hear, you know. Many think that's what made her so famous so quickly. How she's down to earth and totally accessible, making her someone well, everyone wants to root for. Guess you don't want to feel like you're supporting crappy people. I never put that much thought into that one. Hell, half the time I have no idea who made what I use, nor do I care much. Being a nice person will take you far, though. My daddy always insisted that being ruthless in the boardroom doesn't mean being an ass. And he's actually managed to get certain contracts from other more powerful people. All thanks to being a nice guy overall. More importantly, daddy. Do you really believe me? Saying Sue's just here that easily? You're not the kind to lie about stuff like that, so sure. That said, can you go to the concert so easily? What about security at the like? My dad always has a unit keep my eye on me from a distance. And you'd be surprised at how easily I can disguise myself with just a different hairdo and a cape. I wonder if I could get in the disabled line with Say and went in her wounds. Although she'll probably nag me about how she doesn't need it and we shouldn't abuse that. <laughs> hey, can I get me a classic drink? What does classic drink mean? Ah. Type. I guess a beer works. I do something wrong. Oh, I put in too much alcohol. For as many times as I made a beer. Here, thank you. I think you should know about this. About what? Say, um, told me about your eye. That? Oh yeah, I know. Say told me I'm alright, don't worry. Still, that's quite the, um, damn. We all have our own share of painful stories. I might be just as shocked hearing something from you. I've gotten over it. But every time someone brings attention to my eye, it starts hurting. The tech and the replacement is good enough for remembering it hurts a bit. Still, she also told you about that Virgilio guy, didn't she? Virgilio Armando didn't net any results, but after digging deeper, we found another name. Timothy Mercury. Branded traitor after killing a fellow white knight declared MIA. Seems like the guy knew how to hide himself. What are you gonna do? 
at the very least, seek him to thank him at the least I can do. Wait. I just realized something off with the whole tech gold rush story. Wouldn't all that tech be patented anyways? Get trying to crack it in the first place, but that would be true if the tech was patented in the first place. Zabatsu has been so paranoid about making the White Knights untouchable that they never patented anything. A patent would be in a database that someone could hack and retrieve valuable info from. Not to mention, they've been using tech from other companies without any authorization. And no patent registry in their right mind would approve of that global shutdown signal. Let alone how to mobilize everyone still inside one of those suits. So the ones that were upholding the law did so using suits that were all means illegal. The hernia runs deep, wouldn't you say? Why do it though? When you have so much money, you start thinking you can screw around with the rules. Power makes you think you're above the law. And the city is what happens when those with money start making the rules. I think we all done things we're not too proud of at some point in our lives. Well, Jill, I gotta go. Always a pleasure. Ah, Alma. Hey! You're pretty insistent on that one, aren't you? It's basic courtesy. Something I'll fight to uphold. First a greeting stop. Then saying please and thanks. Stop, and before you know it, boom, total anarchy. And I'm not. In fact, I'll go through that door again, and I expect you to properly greet me this time. <laughs> Hello, Jill. Once upon a midnight jury, while I pondered weak and weary <laughs> over many a quant and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping <laughs> as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. <laughs> Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. You overdid it. <laughs> Quith the bartender, I did not. Quoth the bartender. <laughs> oh, so you like poetry? I had a phase. Can I get you something? Let's start with a big cobalt velvet. Cobalt. <laughs> She's thinking of the bad touch joke. Uh, actually, Alma shouldn't be here. Huh. Strange. Alright. Here. Um, sure, let's go with this. Oh yeah, there's something I've been wondering about for a while. Does the name Shadow Master 69's Chronicles ring any bells? Wow, he went pale. No, no, the name doesn't ring any bells. May 22nd. Today, my daily card readings told me that I'd meet great change, thanks to an old man. My biology teacher told me I had been picked for an inner school contest with my latest essay. I just knew a scientific theory on the idea of auroras was a revolutionary as I thought. Soon I'll bring the world into the occult science singularity. Later entries don't seem to have gone that well though. Mentions of being laughed at being lectured on why that essay was wrong. I made sure to delete that blog. No evidence should be left. I can think of at least six different sources off the top of my head that have all that stuff archived. She sure likes it's not that bad. <laughs> Oh, Jill. What do you mean it's not that bad, don't you? <laughs> we all been young, Jill. It's not like you're still like that nowadays. That would have been embarrassing. You're still not like that, right? Gods, no, I gave up that whole occult stuff. Just remember that all that stuff is. What did you miss? Uh, Jill did a science paper on occult science and, and got uh, basically torn to shreds by her teacher. For it. All dressed in black with the rare accessory popping out thanks to the colors. I mean, at least you had the decency to use makeup and take care of yourself. Oh god, you have a fucking pick. Why do you, why do, you do this to me? Oh yeah, also, Jill used to have a blog when she was younger and Alma found it. <laughs> why do you do this to me? Why do you dig out the sins of my past? Last Friday, I had to take my mind out the whole Diana thing, so I ran a small background check on you. Small. Simple stuff, just checking past internet activity. 
Please don't run background checks like that. I just used a research. I just used a search engine, you know. I didn't request documents or anything. What led you to the page? You do realize your main mail account everywhere is still the one you used back then, right? Like I said, relax. You're obsessed with occultism. I wanted to kiss all the boys. And I kind of almost accomplished that in middle school, which still sort of haunts me today. Never underestimate the Link's old classmates will go to track you down. Especially if they think you're still that girl who kissed them for fun and they're lonely to boot. Oh, no. We all have done things we're not proud of as adults. Now I know I'm cr how criminals feel when evidence is used against them. I had to ask, though. Why the 69? It was supposed to be a 69, but 69, like, in reference to the booth, the lovers, and the hermit. I was convinced it meant wise choice. Jill, there's nobody that would read that as 69. And I was 12 at the time. Even at 12, I fucking knew what 69 was. Just how innocent were you back then? You have no idea. Well, let's sweeten up things a bit. Sugar Rush. Here. This is the thing. Say, Alma, speaking of the past, what was your last long-term relationship like? That's sudden. You dug through my past, I've earned the right to dig through yours. Fair, Jill. Totally fair. Long-lasting relationship, huh? Romantic ones, I'm guessing? Yep. Hmm. Well, I've had about four boyfriends, who I described as such, that I've introduced to my family and all. First one was in high school. I broke up with him because he cheated on me. Or the other girl trying to pick a fight and me just saying keep the fucker second was during my freshman year broke up with him after he thought it'd be funny to pu be funny to punch me in the arm he starts with a friendly hit and before you know it anyways oh uh, the other guy I met shortly after I dropped out he was interested in marriage but he wanted to get married after only half a year so or so knowing me knowing him and then there's Richard I spent almost four years with him he got oh we got along pretty well we had some chemistry. I truly loved him. But as time went on, there was a rift that started separating us. Moreover, he wasn't a family person. He distracted himself with his own and voiced that he didn't want kids. There was a part of me that wanted to believe, even if I just for a little bit, that maybe he changed his mind. But as much as I loved him, that one detail brought a growing gap between us. And at one point, I just had to break up with him. But I'm not here to depress you. Bring me a beer, will ya? Thanks for telling me that, by the way. Not mention it. Okay, one more question, we're even. Wow, you really are embarrassed of that plug. At what age did you get those implants in your moves? <laughs> Jill, I love you, and I know you're saying this that in jest, but I lived through so many rumors about me getting plastic surgery that I can't and won't take it as a joke. As such in honoring our friendship, I'll just say this. They're real and they're spectacular. <laughs> Now ask the real question before I slap you. Call me by my full name as a compensation then. It's funny that you mentioned slapping because your the real question was why did you get your hands chopped? And I saw them. Yes. Vince. Yes he did. Well there's a couple of reasons. The first is that I spent lots of time typing and these replacements helped me avoid carpal tunnel syndrome. There's also other utilities, like how I can interface with my with many devices. For example, there's a tiny computer embedded in my glasses. If I move my index finger, it acts like my computer cursor. There's a lot more. There's small things that don't sound that impressive when I say it out loud. How did your family take the operation? They took it all well enough, except for my mom. She freaked out for months. She even went to the hospital to ask for my hands. Sometimes, but just during emotional moments. But as luck would have it... Someone else has them. 
Shortly before my operation, there was an accident on the highway. One of the victims was this young lady. His right hand got clearly crushed. I told him to check if we were compatible and all that. Implants are not everyone's first choice. They can get a natural replacement. Good cosmetic treatment, and it could pass off as her original hand with no problem. Last I heard, we were compatible in his fam. The family agreed to the donation. I don't know what became of her. We hope she's fine. Tell me your mom about that. I didn't want her pestering the poor girl. <laughs> so we're cool now, are you even now? Are we? You were pretty pissed about the comment regarding your boobs. Again, I'm sorry it sounded like this. Besides, I get to call you Julianne once. You just call me that by my full name. One chance and only one chance and you just use it up. Surprise. Hey Alma, this might be a weird tangent, but do you believe in ghosts? No particularly, no. Although there was this paper I read once that was quite interesting. He proposed a scenario where nanomachine clusters could leave the body after death and then act as a collective hive mind through residual marine waves. The results would basically be an image not like a hologram. Of course, the hypothesis fell through because such nanomachine density is impossible in the body. Even 5% of the amount needed is enough to make the blood too dense for the heart. It's not like brain waves are potent enough to create such reactions. Hmm. Don't give me that look. It's not my fault that you convinced yourself you're crazy. See you tomorrow. I am. But what about you, Gil? For some reason, the idle girl left him like that, it seems. You think? Might have been while he was out. Hey, boss. You're a fan of wrestling, aren't you? That I am, yeah. Just wondering, isn't wrestling fake? Aren't twin tails for little girls and teens with 8th grade syndrome? 8th grade what? <laughs> when you get down to it, wrestling is as real as a soap opera. I mean, you don't really expect a legal lawsuit to be fixed in a rain, right? Sure, in my ideal world, you would solve legal problems through good old wrestling, but... No, seriously, 8th grade what? You don't go around calling soap operas fake. It's a show, it just so happens to use fights as an expression. You might as well see it as a unique form of theater. Besides, considering the Jerry's Minerational Sluffler, it's not all fake. Huh. Sadly, I won't stand for anyone bowed mouthing and wrestling. So now I have to go and break Gil's back to make you humble. <laughs> oh, well, wait, what? Come here, fuckboy. <laughs> the fact that she said, come here, fuckboy, and then he just screams like that. It, it, it leaves a lot to interpretation. Eighth grade, what? <laughs> We made just enough, barely. I feel like an Adel achievement unlocked. We have a roof over our heads for another month. For a yay. Uh, da -da -da -da. The name sounds silly and a bit hard to pronounce. Good thing it's actually called Valhalla. Anyway, I visited the, this cute small twice after getting lost for a bit. I think the area was called Neon District. At first, it was a bit scary. Bartenders are a bunch of sweethearts. For to visit again, the drinks were very tasty, even though they weren't made of real alcohol. Oh, that's cute. Anyway. I think that's all for now. Alright. Let's, uh... No, that's the wrong thing. Let's go raid somebody. Let's go raid another cat. Dell raid him? Eh, I'm not gonna raid Dell. I'd rather prefer to raid another cat. Besides, I don't really follow Dell, I actually follow her. <laughs> Besides, Dell has a pretty large audience. 
so.